Hey, welcome back guys. We're gonna do a pan shootout today. Now, I've actually been sent this pan on the left-hand side. You've probably seen it a number of times on Amazon in a variety of different um, colors. You On the back, you've seen, you know, orange. You've seen like a neon green one. Now this is, I'm gonna call this the Amazon Basics one. Now these are all, if you see this pan, these are all coming off of a website called Alibaba. So basically people are buying these in bulk and then they're putting their label on it. Now this pan is absolutely terrible and it sucks. Uh, that's a little bit of residue left from cooking some eggs uh, a few months ago. And I decided to do a shootout versus my GSI Pinnacle pan because it's just such an awesome pan. And that thing on the left just is, it's so bad. So we're just gonna cook up some bacon. Again, uh, this is now being sold under the Amazon Basics line, so it's even being uh, pushed by Amazon now. I'm amazed they're taking advantage of Alibaba. And you can see already the bacon is starting to stick. And you know bacon, it's, it's like it's self-lubricant. It takes care of itself. So you don't want to see any of that sticking. And when you see stuff sticking right away, that also means you're going to be having a huge mess to clean up. And you guys know you don't want this in the field. You don't want to be scrubbing anything. You want a good non-stick that's easy to clean up that might not even require soap. I love something I just grab a handful of leaves, some moss, and then clean it out without any soap at all. Or just a little tiny bit of soap. So, uh, you know, we just did a little bit of rinsing around in the water just to see what it did. Now we're gonna scrub it with no soap uh, to show you how bad this actually sticks. It's an awful pan. And it, it, this does also come with a pot and some other accessories, but it's it's just as bad. I would never cook anything in the pot besides ramen. So I'm actually not even going to show you the pot. This whole thing just really sucks. Uh, it all uses this, this terrible, terrible, terrible non-stick. There's next to no non-stick. And if you're a new backpacker, that's something that you go out your first time and you realize how much it sucks to clean something up in the field and you don't have enough water and you're trying to scrub something off and it just is no fun. So look at that, even after using soap and scrubbing hard, there's still residue that I can't get off. This thing is just sucks. It, it, the, the price, yeah, it's great, but you know, it's not worth it. Now the GSI here, the Pinnacle, it's a little bit more, it goes up to about 30 bucks, so it's two to three times as much, but you can see it's not sticking. You're not having any problems with that. And you also get an, I can't pronounce it right, hard anonodized aluminum or something like that. It's a special kind of aluminum, not just your standard aluminum. And it also has a Teflon nonstick coating on it that's as good, if not better, than some of the stuff you have in your house. As you can see, it basically didn't leave next to any mess at all. And you can see the debris that are left behind by the bacon are actually still sustained within the fat itself. They're not actually stuck to the bottom of the pan. So let's take a look and see what it's like to clean this up. Again, trying to show you a good example of why you want to spend a few extra bucks and just avoid this Amazon pan. Again, you might have seen that pan, that Amazon pan, and there are a variety of different labels. It's all the same thing. They're buying these on bulk off of Alibaba. So you'd be surprised how much of your gear is coming off of there. That's not a bad thing. Alibaba has a lot of good gear. Now you can see with a good pan, with a good nonstick coating, a substantial amount of it just comes off just with the water. Now we're not going to use any soap to scrub this off. We're just going to take the, the soap, squeeze it all out. I wanted this one to have a little bit of a disadvantage and show you that, again, a good nonstick you can clean very easily. So bada bing, bada boom, that's all done. So this is really why you're paying a few extra bucks for the pan. Is it a little bit heavier? Yeah, it's a little bit heavier, but in the end, I think you're going to be a lot happier with this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next review.